Pixels, this week I'll be giving you a tour around Adobe XD. If you're a regular ExoPixel blog reader, you already know how much I love and use Adobe XD when I'm designing my website mockups. Now, I'm going to be giving you an engaging look at the design and prototyping software so you can see how truly awesome it is. Adobe XD is available for free download on both Mac and PC computers. Be sure to visit my blog, exopixel.com, to read the article for this tutorial. Now let's get started. When you first open Adobe XD, you'll be presented with the program's welcome screen. On this screen, you'll notice that there are several ways you can open up a new document. You can either open up a custom sized artboard, open a recent document, or use a predefined artboard size. In this case, the predefined artboard sizes are for an iPhone, iPad, or a standard web browser. You can also open user interface kits based on Apple, Google, and Microsoft. For this tutorial, let's open the iPad artboard size. The Adobe XD interface is very minimalistic. There's nothing overwhelming or confusing about it. That's why I like it. The left hand side of the interface is the toolbar. Here's what's in it. The select tool, the shape tool, the pen tool, text tool, artboard, and zoom tool. The very bottom of the toolbar has the symbols library and the layers panel. The right hand side of the program contains the appearance panel where you can align objects, use several tools similar to Adobe Illustrator's Pathfinder, resize objects, set opacity, and more. Now let's try out some tools to get more acquainted with designing in Adobe XD. First, let's type a title for our artboard. I'm just going to type artboard number one, but feel free to get more creative. I also want to change the font family, so I'm just going to head on over to the right hand side panel and in the text panel, I'm going to just type Sourcesant Pro and use it as the font for this title. Right now, the default font size is also kind of small. I want to increase the font size. You can either select the object and drag to resize it or go to the appearance panel and make more precise resizing adjustments. So those are the basics of the type tool. Let's try out the shape tool. First, select the circle shape tool and hold the shift key while drawing it on the artboard. This will constrain its proportions so that you can draw a perfectly proportional circle. Now, let's add some color to the circle. I'll be using a nice teal color. So now that we've drawn our circle, let's do something really cool with it using a great feature in Adobe XD. By hitting Command R or selecting the Repeat Grid button in the Appearance panel, you'll be able to make duplicates of any objects. Just drag out the green tabs on the right or bottom of the object and watch the magic happen. Symbols are objects that you intend to use multiple times on your artboard. To create a symbol, open the symbol library located at the bottom of the toolbar and select an object on the canvas and click the plus icon. To remove a symbol, simply right click on the symbol and remove it. Any changes you make to symbols will be changed in real time on the canvas. The layers panel is pretty straightforward, but the cool thing about it is that it automatically changes to suit the artboard that's selected. Another great feature in Adobe XD is the prototype workspace. The design workspace is the default workspace in Adobe XD. To get to the prototype workspace, just select the link located on the top left hand side of the program. In this workspace, you're able to connect your artboards to make them interactive, like you're navigating an app or a website. Here's how you can make your designs interactive. First, select the first artboard that we created and connect it to a second artboard by drawing wires between each artboard. You'll then be able to select the transition effect and speed of the transition. To preview this, click the play button at the right hand top menu bar. 
By the way, I hope you enjoy my Valentine's Day themed design that I made just for you guys. Happy Valentine's Day! Sharing your designs with your team or your clients online is now easier than ever before. By clicking the Share Online button on the top right menu bar, you'll be able to generate a unique link address that you can share. You can even embed your designs onto your website or blog. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Adobe XD and learned some of the basics this application has to offer. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to ExoPixel for more great design videos just like this one. I'll see you in next week's video and happy Valentine's Day! Thank <laughs> you.